South Korea is using a $13.7 billion arms deal with Poland, Seoul's biggest ever, to lay the groundwork for an industrial juggernaut that the two nations' defense companies hope will feed Europe's hungry military market far into the future. South Korea's dramatic increase in global arms sales, jumping to more than $17 billion in 2022, compared to $7.25 billion the year before, according to its defense ministry, came as Western countries scramble to arm Ukraine and tensions rise in other hotspots such as North Korea, the Taiwan Strait, and the South China Sea. South Korean and Polish officials say their partnership will help them conquer the European arms market even beyond the Ukraine war, with Seoul providing high-quality weapons faster than other countries and Poland offering manufacturing capacity and a sales pipeline into Europe. Actually, the Korean government is uh, very focused on the uh, export of the Korean uh, companies, such as uh, K2 and K9, uh, Chummu, etc. We decided to uh, provide uh, technology to Poland by using the uh, Polish uh, defense industry's capability, we can uh, jointly uh, export and manufacture the uh, weapon system and then uh, export those weapon systems to nearby countries. Uh, obviously, the uh, outbreak of the Russian war uh, invaded uh, the Ukraine, 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 and after that, uh, we get lots of uh, requests, requests from the Polish government uh, for K2 tank and K9 Hoitzers and F850. country's interest in uh, South Korea's offer may only grow considering the limited production capacity of German's defense industry, which is a major arms supplier in the region. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, in 2018, Hungary has ordered 44 Leopards from uh, Leopard tanks uh, from Germany, and so far none has been delivered.
I think uh, the assertive stance of the Polish industry stems also from failed projects over the past uh, 25, 30 years involving American or European partners, which yielded limited benefits for the Polish uh, defense uh, sector. Another issue, another challenge is the different organizational cultures of companies from Poland to South Korea.